when transits going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty handed, you left the side. Hey, you guys, it is Crystal Lopez here from crystalandcomp.com. I hope you are having an amazing day. All right, I am going to bring you along for a work at home day in the life video um, of a work from home homeschool mom. All right, this particular morning, I got up really early and went to Sprouts right when they were opening, ran in and got a few things that I needed to get us through for a couple of days, including fresh fruit, a few of the items and produce things I was gonna need for some dinners. Over the next couple of days, I needed milk. I scored a gallon of milk that was on sale for $3 because it, it was expiring in a few days um, and just grabbed some of the things that I needed. Now listen, in this video, you're gonna see my messy bedroom, which is the room I work from. You're gonna see my messy kitchen. You're going to see something else that's messy, I forget. I don't know, oh, my bathroom. I don't wanna hear it. This is real, you guys want real, this is real. You're gonna see the mess, okay? Now don't be mean about it or you're not gonna see any more messes. All right, we're gonna do makeup. All right, so just finished three meetings, I think is what we did. Um, I've got a break for about three hours. Although I might sit in and observe a meeting. My room is a mess, but all this gets hidden in the background, so it's okay. All right, I'm gonna run downstairs and boil me some eggs and wash up some fruit. And I already laid out chicken for dinner. We're gonna grill chicken. Um, what else? I need to probably unload and reload the dishwasher. Um, you know, just all those little things. And then I need to come back and work on getting some stuff to some of my employees, like my, uh, one of my YouTube editors and a couple of the ladies that make printables for me and all the things. Okay. Check in with the person that does Facebook, just all that kind of stuff. All right. Hang out with me. This is, this is what a typical Tuesday looks like for me. All right, so you're gonna notice my husband in the background. He is actually on a couple of business calls um, while I'm doing all of this. And yes, we do tag team stuff. So actually, typically he does breakfast. Um, it makes breakfast for everybody. This particular morning, I um, I ended up making breakfast and that's cool. Like we, we do whatever needs to be done, right? We're not keeping score. It's not tit for tat. We're just getting done what needs to be done. Now, all of our kids homeschool and they all do online homeschooling. So up in the loft is where our, I've showed you guys videos before of what our homeschool area looks like for our two elementary age kids. And um, they have, they do the same um, brand of curriculum and they know how to do it. Like we just need to monitor and make sure that they're getting stuff done and you know, get things pulled together for them so that they have what they need each day. But they should be self-sufficient and if i'm working generally my husband is able to say hey guys get back on track you know he's there and if he's not then a teenager can say the same like guys you know you're supposed to be doing your schoolwork. all of my teenagers they are doing different curriculums our two older kids are seniors in high school they use one curriculum they use the same curriculum and then our middle middle schooler uses a different curriculum um and they all have computers in their bedrooms, and so they are able to do their schoolwork in their bedrooms. Um, and then we just monitor it all and uh, see what they're doing. So I am, this, usually I don't have a three hour break. This particular day I did, um, and we do a lot of video, online video training. So during this three hour break, I'm taking advantage of, you know, just tidying up the kitchen, some things that didn't get done the night before, um, making some quick breakfast and then um i'm gonna go back and get some work done as well which i mentioned earlier so we're just getting some stuff done and uh doing a little bit of prep work as well for dinner to make dinner time easier in just a little bit i tried to be your everything gave my everything i sold out 
don't just look at me I'm a ghost with nothing left Hollow, emptied out But got lost, can't be found You stole every bit of me Now I can't remember And for the record, sometimes when I'm wiping off countertops, if I know that I'm going to vacuum right afterwards, I'll just wipe the crumbs into the floor. Um, if I am not going to vacuum, then I will scoop it into my hand. So that's the details. That's the nitty gritty on that. And also I will share a link below to the video where I talk about my shark um, duo cleaner that's for hardwood floors and tile floors. It is the best. I got it at Costco and it is the best vacuum that I've ever owned that gets up everything off of a hardwood floor or tile floors. I love it. All right, so I'm just gathering up the different um, fruits and letting them, cleaning them a little bit, letting them sit. That little colander is one that my mother-in-law got me. She likely got it on Timu. I've never ordered from Timu, but <clears throat> she gave me that and I know she's been on like a Timu kind of um, shopping, like trying out different things from there. I'm pretty sure that's where she got it from. But it's really cool because the little colander holes are on the side a little higher up. So you can let stuff soak and then tilt it to drain it or strain it. I've really enjoyed it. It's a neat little colander. I like it. I use it a lot whenever I'm needing to like rent something and let it soak a little bit and then drain it out. So, all right, we're cutting up some apples. I do have an apple corer. I use it a lot. But this particular time I didn't want to, I wanted to use my new knife from Cutco and I wanted to make the apple slices smaller. So I did. Um, and now we're going to cut up some strawberries and I've also got blueberries and raspberries. All of those fruits are really good for you. High in, you know, most of them are high in antioxidants. The berries are good for you and they're low glycemic. They are yummy, yummy, yummy. We love them. Just take a look at yourself Do you really think it's gonna help? If you always fight in yourself Trying to forget how you felt Just take a look at yourself Can't even be your own friend Cause you're way too stuck in your head How do you think it's gonna end? Nothing that they could do Nothing that they could say This particular time I just boiled the eggs on the stove top, but I do like using my Instant Pot to do it. You can throw a whole dozen in there, however many you want. And I forget now. I think they boil for two minutes. Like you set your, t I have to look it up. I think it's two minutes. But again, it doesn't take just two minutes in the 
pressure cooker because you've got to let it come to pressure and all that. But still, it's a great way to just set it and forget it. And then when they're done, they stop, you know, it just keeps it warm. Um, so if you're worried about like, you know, say you work from home and you're, you want to put some eggs on to boil, but you don't want for them to, you know, you got to go to a meeting or something and you don't want all the water to boil out and burn the eggs or whatever, do it in the instant pot. It's so easy. All right. Um, and do a whole bunch up at one time and then you can put them in the fridge, what you don't use. We do that a lot too. Not everybody likes boiled eggs at our house, but a lot of us do. And right now, like teenagers, they take care of themselves in the morning. This I'm doing this for me and the two little kids and Lenny. So that's how we do it around here, okay? All right, I like to put turmeric and cayenne pepper and then salt and pepper on my eggs. And um, Lenny likes them on his eggs as well. And yeah, we're just making a nice little fruit mixture. This was so good, I love it. It's one of my favorite things to have for breakfast. And also like if you've got almonds or um, you know, macadamia nuts or whatever, pistachios, pecans, walnuts, throw some of those in there too. Okay, so this is that big huge bag of russet potatoes that I get at Costco. And I am going to use half of the bag to make uh, baked potatoes to go with our dinner. So I'm gonna wash those off and then add them to the crock pot and cook them all day. You know, cook them for six to eight hours in the slow cooker. So now like my work day's done, we're at dinner time. Lenny is grilling all that chicken out on the Blackstone and we're just using some HEB brand Italian dressing and he's gonna cut it up. Actually, I think he cut it up while it was on the grill, as you could see. <laughs> um, I'm checking the potatoes. So those were cooking all day while I was working and kids were doing schoolwork and Lenny went and did his stuff. And like, it's, I love the slow cooker, seriously, in the Instant Pot. They're great tools, you guys should be using them. All right, um, now I'm gonna mix up this salad that I got. This is either from Sprouts or from Costco. I think it's from Sprouts. Um, and I love these little salad kits. I don't always use salad kits, but when I do, <laughs> we really like the Caesar salad. It just makes dinner so easy. So put all this together. That is a Tupperware salad spinner that I've had for years. And um, actually that particular one, I think I've only had for about five years, but I used to have one um, from back in the late nineties, early 2000s. And something happened to it when we moved one of the times, I don't know. I'm not sure what happened to it. Anyway, it was green. Now they're purple. Actually, I don't even know if they still make them because I haven't bought one in five years. But um, none of that really matters. <laughs> it's great for mixing up salad, for spinning your salad, for you can even spin your fruit when you clean it. That was some leftover rice. So I've got a couple of kids that love rice. So instead of a baked potato, they will have that. And then we've got the salad and then we have the chicken. And dinner was so simple. And then I'm just gonna put out all the fixings for the baked potatoes. So I've got some bacon bits there that we buy um, that you refrigerate that are from Costco. And then we've got cheese, butter, and instead of sour cream, we will do the Greek yogurt, the unflavored Greek yogurt. And that'll be it. Dinner will be El Dunno. That is how we do it around here. So this was food. You didn't see lunch, but this was all day stuff for a work from home mom um, who is just, you know, <laughs> doing the things that need to be done. I hope you can relate. All right, guys, um, leave me a comment. How many of you work from home? How many of you homeschool? How many of you work from home and homeschool? I'm really trying to figure out how I can help people the best way possible um, by sharing solutions for the things that I know like what my life, what I do, <laughs> what my life is about. Um, we have been homeschooling our kids that are seniors. That's all they've ever done. Yes, we've, you know, utilized homeschool center or like we've outsourced some classes. We've done online. We've done non-online. We've done all kinds of things over the years. Um, but I feel like this has been my journey for a long time and working from home has been my journey for a long time. So I really want to know how I can help you guys best, right? Tell me how many of you are working from home, how many are homeschooling, how many are working from home and homeschooling, what are your struggles, what do you need? opinions to know how you're feeling to know if you're losing or winning left behind or within it if you're sinking or swimming existing or
guys, thank you so much for watching. Y'all have a great rest of your day, and I'm going to let you just finish watching me cut chicken, okay? All right, bye.